hello my amazing people of god and welcome back to gloria emmanuel god bless every one of you my old subscribers god bless you my year to join the family i appreciate every one of you god bless every one of you abundantly please as you're subscribing to this channel i want you to subscribe to jesus christ The time it will take you to find a Bible believing church, the time it will take you to learn the principles of the kingdom. Is God speaking to us? So, the second season of your life, the season of execution, walking in the fullness of purpose and your assignment from 26 to 50. The third season in your life is called the evening stage. This is the stage of legacy where at this point you are not trying to prove a point again. It is expected that within that time, that time of your life, the afternoon stage, like the sun shines brightest in the afternoon. That is the stage of maximum kingdom impact. By the time you are 51 down to 75 is a stage of legacy. That's when you begin to build institutions that reflect your value. Institutions that are prepared to outlive you. You are not successful until there is a generation that becomes loyal to your thoughts. You cannot mark your script and give yourself a grade. It is one generation that will tell us whether you are successful. Our success is proof that Jesus succeeded. It is the success of your children that show whether you succeeded. No matter what you are enjoying now, you are still a student. It is when someone comes, who is who comes out of you and now succeeds, that is when we will know you have succeeded. Is God helping us tonight? Yes. The stage of legacy. That is the stage where you turn back and begin to mentor and build the generations coming. Teaching them from your mistakes passionately pouring your heart and telling them when you get here even though it does not look like there is a hole jump it i didn't know this when i was there and it cost me 10 years extra hear me there are young people today who are sleeping eight hours in one day let me give you an advice if you sleep eight hours out of 24 years by the time you are 30 years you've slept for 10 years of your life sleeping for 10 years at age 30. Can I tell you the honest truth? I say this with every sense of respect to everybody, but particularly to the young people. Be careful with this overseeking comfort at an early stage in life. We have a generation that is so passionate about comfort at age 20 you are already looking for don't don't i don't want anything that pushes me Hi. you read the bible for two hours you sleep for four hours i can't go until there is a car that moves me around you have to be careful i must walk the walks of him that sent me while it is day jesus himself said it for the night cometh even for Jesus, where no man can walk again. There are people today who had an opportunity to have built estates and built buildings that they and their children and their children's children will eat from. But selfishness and distraction did not allow them to know they were getting old. Lo and behold, they opened their eyes and now they are 60, 70 years and not even a single building of residence. I'm not being sarcastic, forgive me. But I have to teach this. And many of us young people, we spent our lives criticizing men of God, criticizing parents, criticizing politicians, forgetting that we are also coming to that same stage. 
Many of us are right here and we are messing up even more than those that we criticized. Because the time it takes to prepare is the same time it takes to criticize. While you are criticizing and talking about others, time is still moving you forward. Prepared or not, one day the curtain will be opened. Is God speaking to us now? The year of legacy and the final stage of your life, the last 75 years, is called the stage of rest. Not death, rest. If you started this journey completely at 75, you should almost be ready to finish your assignment, only consolidating and blessing the name of the Lord. There are few people who were able to demonstrate that in their lifetime. One of them was Billy Graham, a man who finished his assignment and was still alive to turn back. Everyone knew that this man had finished his assignment. The mystery of Pharaoh's dream is a lesson for everybody alive that seasons are changing. Seasons are changing. Seasons of opportunity will come. Now let us look at Joseph's advice. I have to run. I wish I had time to walk this. Genesis 41, 37. And the thing was good in the eyes of Pharaoh and in the eyes of all his servants. 38. And Pharaoh said unto his servants, Can we find such a one as this is, in whom the Spirit of God is? And Pharaoh said unto Joseph, For as much as God has shown ye all this, there is none so discreet and wise as thou art. Thou shalt be over my house, and according to my watch shall all my people be ruled. Thy word shall all my people be ruled. Only in the throne will I be greater than thou. And Pharaoh said unto Joseph, See, I have set thee over all the land of Egypt. He took his ring from his hand and put it upon Joseph's hand and arrayed him in vestures of fine linen. Now, you know that the season just changed for Joseph. Forget about the season for Egypt. Joseph's season just changed. Yesterday, you were a young man who would need to beg for water. But God took you on the seasons for helping interpret seasons. Your own season too has changed. But Joseph make sure you follow your own adverts first because that law also applies to you he took off his ring put it on joseph's hand arrayed him in vestures of fine linen put a gold chain about his neck our generation called this i don't know what the ara have arrived that's it there ladies and gentlemen that is that deceptive demon of arrival there i have And he made him to ride on the second chariot which he had and they cried before him bowed the knee and made him ruler over all the land of Egypt 44 and Pharaoh said unto Joseph I am Pharaoh and without thee shall no man lift up his hand my goodness everybody says seasons ah did Joseph know that one day his bones they would take out of Egypt Look at a man who is receiving a public global commendation. I am Pharaoh and without you shall no man lift up his hand or foot in all the land of Egypt. Read on please. And Pharaoh, he called Zafnath Pania and he gave him a wife, Asenath, the daughter of Potiphar, the priest of On. And Joseph went out over all the land of Egypt. Let's go to, okay, we'll read down to 49. And then we'll jump to 53, just to redeem time. Joseph was how old? Please talk to me. How old was Joseph? Why do you think the Bible would add his age? What do we need his age to do? To know the reality of seasons. He was 30 years old when he stood before Pharaoh, king of Egypt. And Joseph went out from the presence of Pharaoh and went throughout the land, all the land of Egypt. And in the seven plenteous years, the earth brought forth by handfuls. And he gathered up the food of the seven years, 
which were in the land of Egypt and laid up the food in the cities the food of the field which was round about every city he laid up in the same last verse and then we'll move to 53 and Joseph gathered corn as the sand of the sea very much until he left numbering for it was without number go to 53 and the seven years of plenteousness that was in the land of Egypt were ended seven years of plenty can end seven years of plenty can end seven years of plenty can end next verse and the seven years of death began to come according as joseph had said and the death was in all the land and in all the land of egypt but in all the land of egypt there was bread uh -huh. and when all the land of egypt was famished the people cried unto pharaoh for bread and pharaoh said unto all the egyptians go to joseph go to the person who has the formula for connecting seasons go to that man he's mastered how to preserve bread regardless season let me tell you this when you see people whose results don't change and it looks like they are ever rising it's not because this law does not happen they have followed the advice of jacob of joseph of joseph so even when there is famine there is still rainy season in their life and you are wondering is this rainy season universal no they created their own goshen out of egypt are we together now yes when the bible says the path of the just is as a shining light it says it because there is an advantage of the wisdom of joseph to the saints so what was the advice of joseph very quickly because we have to pray is someone learning something mm. the advice of joseph was save and invest this is not in financial terms at all just pay attention save and invest save what the first thing to save is time not things you have not really saved if all you save are things the bible says not as unwise redeeming the time the most precious commodity to save and to invest is time not things not money if you lose time and you have money you lost record it as a lost if you gain things hallelujah thank you for watching if the video interests you please share